Hello friends. Hope you are all doing great. So this video is about drugs of choice in ANS that is autonomic nervous system. Some uh, drug of choice can be a repeat of uh, CNS but I just did not uh, remove them and uh, I included them because it can be uh, like a revision to you people. Okay and some can see only ANS video for them it will be useful. Reynolds phenomena drug of choice is calcium channel blockers like amlodipine and nifedipine. Okay. Performance anxiety it is propranolol, BHP that is benign hyperplasia of prostate with hypertension it is prazosin, BHP without hypertension it is tamsulosin or silodosin. Okay. BHP that is benign hyperplasia of prostate without hypertension it is tamsulosin or silodosin, akathisia it is again propranolol, essential tremor again propranolol, beta blocker poisoning, glucagon just remember glucagon is given for beta blocker poisoning. Okay, cheese reaction, uh, phentolamine or tolazolin. Okay, uh, cheese reaction and clonidal withdrawal we also ha uh, have seen uh, before. Okay, uh, for both it phentolamine is a drug of choice. To phentolamine or tolazolin. Okay, tolazolin or phentolamine is given for cheese reaction and rebound hypertension due to clonidal withdrawal. Belladonna poisoning, it is physostigmine. Atropine poisoning, it is physostigmine. Datura poisoning, it is physostigmine. So, belladonna and datura both have similar uh, symptoms as atropine poisoning. So, for that also we give physostigmine. So, for belladonna poisoning, drug of choice for atropine poisoning and drug of choice for datura poisoning is physostigmine. Okay. Now, diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. So, for myasthenia gravis, diagnosis we give Edrophonium. So for myasthenia gravis, we give peridostigmine that is acetyl cholinesterase inhibitor. For uh, diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, we give edrophonium. Now uh, early mushroom poisoning, we give atropine. Okay. Uh, organophosphate poisoning, we give atropine. Carbamate poisoning, we give again atropine. Okay. So for early mushroom poisoning, organophosphate poisoning, and carbamate poisoning, we give atropine. Okay, refractory testing in children we give atropine, whereas refractory testing in adults we give pro pro tropicamide eye drops. Okay, for adults we give tropicamide for refractory testing, whereas in ch for children we give atropine for refractory testing. Primary open angle glaucoma drug of choice is latinoprast, that is, I think, PGF2 alpha, and uh, for acute congestive glaucoma drug of choice is acetazolamide, that is, carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. Okay, this latinoprost is a PGF2 uh, analog which increases the uveoscleral uh, outflow. So, it is used in uh, primary open angle glaucoma. Okay, and Alzheimer's dementia, donepezil, we already studied in uh, CNS. Postural hypotension, we give fludrocortisone. Okay, postural hypotension, what is the drug of choice? It is fludrocortisone. For pheochromocytoma, that is preoperative we give phentolamine. Phentolamine is also given in two other conditions. What are they? Cheese reaction and clonidin withdrawal. Okay. Rebound hypertension of uh, clonidin withdrawal. Now pheochromocytoma long term we give phenoxybenzamine. Okay. So what is the treatment of uh, pheochromocytoma? It is phenoxybenzamine but preoperative we give phentolamine. Okay. And uh, narcolepsy we give Modafinil. What is the uh, drug we give in narcolepsy? What is the drug of choice? It is drug of choice is modafinil. Okay. And attention deficit hyperkeratic disorder methylphenidate. ADHD we also read yesterday. I mean in C CNS it is methylphenidate. Okay. So I will a uh, few other drugs are there. I will complete them and at a time I will revise. So for bradycardia. Drug of choice is atropine. Atrioventricular block, it is atropine. Atropine increases the heart rate. So, we give in atrioventricular block and also in bradycardia. So, we should remember cholinergic system that is acetylcholine increases all the secretions and uh, uh, everywhere it increases except for the heart where it decreases. So, heart rate is decreased. So, anticholinergic which is atro atropine which will increase the heart rate. Opposite action, no? So, that way we should remember 
for cardiogenic shock it is noradrenaline or dopamine shock with oliguria it is dopamine anaphylactic shock it is adrenaline shock due to adrenal insufficiency it is corticosteroids hypovolemic shock fluids or crystalloids okay and secondary shock it is prazosin alpha blockers distributive shock it is noradrenaline or phenylephrine septic shock broad spectrum antimicrobials so let us cover shock again cardiogenic shock it is noradrenaline or dopamine see most of the cases we give adrenergic drugs that is noradrenaline in shocks okay because there will be uh, no less heart rate and uh, blood flow will be less blood volume will be less all those things so exceptions you should remember uh, it it can be like noradrenal like substances or noradrenaline okay cardiogenic shock it is noradrenaline or dopamine shock with oliguria it is dopamine okay anaphylactic shock it is adrenaline shock due to adrenal insufficiency it is corticosteroids hypovolemic shock it is fluids here you should remember when they mention hypovolemic you give fluids that is crystalloids okay Secondary shock, you give prazosin. This is also exception. Alpha blockers you give in secondary shock. Okay. Distributive shock, you give noradrenaline or phenylephrine again. Septic shock, we know broad spectrum antimicrobials. Acute anterior uveitis, that is iridocyclotis, you give atropine plus steroids. Just remember, acute anterior uveitis, um, that is iridocyclotis, you give atropine plus steroids. Posterior uveitis, drug of chances, only steroids okay a for a just remember okay acute anterior uveitis when it is anterior you give atropine plus steroids when it is posterior you give only steroids pan uveitis you give again steroids only steroids okay okay let me revise fast Reynolds phenomena it is calcium channel blockers like amlodipine or nifedipine performance anxiety it is propranolol bhp with hypertension it is prazosin bhp without hypertension it is tamsulosin or psilodosin akathisia it is propranolol essential tremors it is propranolol beta blocker poisoning again glucagon cheese reaction phentolamine rebound hypertension due to clonidine withdrawal phentolamine okay we have also seen phentolamine in pheochromocytoma before surgery belladonna poisoning in physostigmine uh, physostigmine, atropine poisoning, physostigmine, datura poisoning, physostigmine, belladonna, atropine, and datura, we give physostigmine. Diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, we do hydrophonium test. For treatment, we give pyridostigmine, anticholinous stress inhibitor, that is. Early mushroom poisoning, we give atropine. Organophosphate poisoning, again, atropine. Carbamate poisoning, atropine. Early mushroom poisoning, organophosphate poisoning, and carbamate poisoning, it is atropine. Okay. Atropine, belladonna, and datura poisoning we give physostigmine okay and uh, refractory testing in children we give atropine refractory testing in adults we give tropicamide eye drops primary open angle glaucoma we give latinoprost acute congestive glaucoma we give astrazolamide alzheimer's dementia donapazil posterior hypertension fludrocortisone just remember fludrocortisone we give in posterior hypertension pheochromocytoma preoperative we give phentolamine and pheochromocytoma long term we give phenoxybenzamine narcolepsy Phenoxybenzamine in pheochromocytoma long term, narcolepsy drug of choice is modafinil, okay, modafinil, ADHD methylphenidate, okay. Bradycardia, we give atropine, atrioventricular block, we give atropine, cardiogenic shock, we give noradrenaline or dopamine, and shock with L oliguria, we give dopamine, anaphylactic shock, we give adrenaline, A for A, it's not noradrenaline, we give adrenaline in anaphylactic shock, okay. And shock due to adrenal insufficiency, we give corticosteroids. Adrenal insufficiency, obviously, we should give corticosteroids. Hypovolumic shock, you give crystalloids, that is fluid. Secondary shock, you give prazosin. Just remember, this is very important and uh, definitely will get confused. Alpha blockers are given in secondary shock, that is prazosin is given in secondary shock. Prazosin, okay. Secondary shock, we give prazosin. Distributive shock, we give noradrenaline or phenylephrine distribution distributive shock we give noradrenaline or phenylephrine septic shock antimicrobials broad spectrum acute anterior uveitis a for a i told so atropine plus steroids posterior uveitis and pan uveitis you give only steroids this is about ans i will come with the next talk. good luck and uh, please leave the comments about uh, which topics you are uh, interested so that i can make uh, videos short videos on those topics okay Thank you.